Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. The SEC is preparing standards right now that would require corporations to disclose their climate-related risks. The draft is set to be released later this fall, but a number of companies already gearing up for a fight on what exactly should be disclosed or what should be mandated. The CDP, the largest nonprofit that helps companies in uh, cities disclose their environmental impact, out with a list of companies that have yet to release comprehensive climate data. And for more on that, let's bring in Emily Kreps, CDP Global Director of Capital Markets. And Emily, we should preface this by saying that 90% of the firms on the S&P 500 do voluntarily publish reports. The big question is, are they publishing the type of information that will allow investors to calculate the risks? Um, walk me through some of these names here, because I think it's a little surprising to see a name like Apple or Amazon um, what is the concern there and what are investors looking for? Sure. So uh, thank you very much for having me. With respect to Apple, uh, you know, they, they've been a longtime supporter of uh, environmental disclosure through CDP and received a, an A score for climate change in 2020. Um, however, it failed to disclose on water security, which investors are seeing is, is a really important theme uh, in, in terms of being able to, to quantify holistic environmental risk. Likewise, Home Depot earned an A- minus uh, in climate change in 2020, but an F for failure to disclose on um, soft commodity-driven deforestation, which we think is an important part of their value chain. Um, for Amazon, you know, due to its size and scale, they have a significant potential to drive uh, action on climate change. And we're encouraged to see them stepping up, um, including pledging to reach net zero emissions by 2040 uh, and committing to set a science-based target. Um, however, investors are really looking for uniform, comparable information, uh, which is what we seek to provide through uh, the CDP disclosure platform. What about a name like Netflix? I mean, what are some of the concerns that you've seen on that front? We've, we've seen these tech companies really appeal to the SEC to mandate some of these disclosures. Um, Netflix is a surprising name in there, but what's the concern in terms of what they haven't disclosed? Well, I think from, from uh, you know, they have their voluntary uh, disclosure out there, but again, their narrative is led by them uh, rather than the uh, questionnaire that CDP puts together, which has very specific uh, questions that are comparable across a number of different uh, industries and companies. And so as the capital markets become more and more sophisticated in dealing with this data, they're really looking for that uh, comparability there. So you know, Netflix has taken great steps um, at the start to put out their, their voluntary uh, report earlier this uh, um, uh, th this year, but what, we'll, what we and the 168 investors who are supporting this campaign are really looking for um, is to have that uniform comparable information. So, Emily, let's take a step back, step back here to talk about what, what should be required or what the CDP sees as required disclosures, because um, right now it, it feels like every company has come out and talked about their climate goals, talked about their initiatives, and yet um, there is no real uniform standard, not just in the U.S., but globally as well. How should investors be looking at what risks um, sh to actually look for and to what extent have companies actually shared that? Well, so I think the TCFD, the Task Force on Climate-Related Financial Disclosure, is a really critical framework um, in terms of thinking about non-financial metrics aligned with uh, an environmental impact and, and a financial impact. And so at CDP, we view ourselves as an implementation mechanism for the TCFD. And there are four pillars there around governance, strategy, risks and opportunities, and targets and metrics. And the important aspect about this is really not just the backward-looking disclosure, but also that forward-looking component with respect to setting emissions reductions targets or uh, renewable energy usage targets and such as well. And so that's really what we try to capture through the CDP disclosure process is that alignment with the TCFD framework so that there is that, that information out there. And when mandatory um, uh, regulation comes in in different jurisdictions, as it will at different speeds, um, that companies really are prepared to tackle that, um, uh, that path. And, and how does that tie directly to market performance? Sure. So in, in terms of um, the acute physical risks and the acute chronic risks, we're seeing a real increase in that, um, whether it be the wildfires in the western United States, um, uh, more intense hurricane seasons, uh, shifting land um, that may be impacted by long-term environmental um, uh, chronic shifts and such. And so those are really um, evidence that the systemic risk is at hand, and therefore it will have both um, uh, 
operational issues, but also in terms of how it should impact um, future investment and CapEx spend as well. And so this is where I think we can start to quantify um, that impact on a company by company basis and on an industry by industry basis. I know you've done calculations on a broader scale here. I mean, what is that number that you're pointing to in terms of the risk at hand if these companies don't disclose their climate risks and ultimately uh, try to adapt more sustainable initiatives? Well, I, I think that, you know, for, from our perspective, if we look just at the financial services sector and what they're enabling to be financed, we see somewhere in the neighborhood of a 700 times impact on their um, uh, from their operational emissions uh, relative to their, um, uh, their their business activity emissions, which means that, you know, companies really haven't been able to or, or the or the, the industries uh, writ large haven't been able to quantify exactly how systemic this um, th this change could be. Uh, and, and I think that's really concerning for people. And finally, Emily, you know, we started this by talking about the SEC uh, drafting uh, the rules that would require companies to disclose uh, their climate risk. We're expecting that to come out in October. I know you've been in touch with the SEC as well. Um, what are we anticipating on that front? And what do you ultimately, as somebody who has been in this space for long tracking the impact, what do you think should be required to be disclosed? Sure. So at CDP, we've really created momentum and a model for mandatory disclosure through um, the environmental disclosure process that we've been been running for the last 20 years, and we really are the only mechanism for that um, that that uh, annual disclosure process. You know, by implementing the TCFD recommendations that I mentioned before and translating those recommendations into the disclosure questions, we think that that will be uh, an important linkage um, as the SEC comes out with uh, with, with fur further guidance. Emily Krebs, CDP, Global Director of Capital Markets. Good to talk to you today. Appreciate the time.